Ask me your questions you ask on the uh, YouTube, all right? Absolutely. It's very important. My brother, I'm here with none other than father, manager, and trainer, uh, Henry Garcia like of Ryan Garcia, That's right. undefeated, lightweight, junior welterweight, Mexican superstar, title contender, That's right. with a record of 23 wins, no loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. Right. What's going on, Henry? Brother, thank you so much, man. I always watch your show. I'm impressed, you know? If there's any questions you have, I can answer them as best as I can. Now, I want to start off by asking this question that was, that was many people reached out to me and said, hey, Ryan is only training three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, <laughs> with Joe Goosen at the gym, right? Oh, wow. Can you attest to that? Yeah. Attest to that. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. I'm going to correct that once and for Cause all. Because I said, I said, I know Henry. Come on. I said, brother. Henry, that can't be true. So what's your thoughts on that? As a father and as a trainer, I wouldn't even allow something like that. Come on. You got to protect your kids. You got to protect your fighter. Right. You got to understand that a trainer needs to put in the work, put right. in the hours, put in the dedication. Right. And for somebody to say only three days, bro, I mean, let me know who that is because it's not my boy. Right, right. <laughs> no, not even close. Right. So, so now, how was it? Making weight, we know about the catch weight, 136, rehydration clause. Is it the is it the same rules as the IBF rules that I'm hearing? It's the IBF rules. Next day, can't weigh more than 10 pounds, but after that, you can be whatever you rehydrate to by the time you get to the ring? Well, the, that is true. The stipulation that they brought upon my son, you know, I would say, yeah, that's true. Um, but that's not going to have any effect to us because for us because it's just um, it's just a stipulation. It's something that. We wouldn't want we wouldn't want to go beyond ten pounds anyway because that would be three weight classes above. That might make us a little bit more heavier, and we're not going to do that. We're going to follow it. It didn't have any effect on my son because this time around it's well balanced. As you could see, he looks healthy and he's ready to go. Now, now. You guys been calling for this fight mm -hmm. for years. Even me and you had yeah, a conversation. 2017. And I said, hey, yeah. Henry, I don't know if he's ready yet because it's like an experience. And you said. Well, here, let me tell you. Back then, uh, Ryan was very outspoken. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing I'll never forget, he was sitting down talking to a reporter and he went like this and he goes, I just don't know, but man, I would love to find him right now. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. And I am so glad it, he didn't. I'm so glad he did it because he was immature. Mm -hmm. He was only 17, 18 at the time. Mm -hmm. But now that he's 24, that's a big mistake mm -hmm. for Tank because now he's a young man and I don't know, like Ryan said, he should have done it back then because now he's going to pay for it. Everybody is, is concerned with, obviously, we saw Ryan get dropped by Luke yes. with the left hand. Tank, obviously, a southpaw with big punching power. Mm -hmm. How do you guys defend that? Now, he's a lot. I, I know Ryan said that Luke was a lot taller, much mm -hmm. more rangier, yes. and he it was just a bad judge of, of distance at that time. Well... They, look at everybody has a knockout punch if, if you if you properly set the person up I agree you know I'm not gonna deny anything like that but there's one thing that Ryan is keen on is his distance okay and he told me specifically what happened that day why he got dropped okay um, I'm not gonna reveal it because it's kind of silly to me but you know he's learned from that and he's ready for um, this opportunity and that's not gonna happen Thank prediction, prediction. Ryan for a knockout. Appreciate you, Emmy. All right.